Greetings everyone, my name is Dr. Jason Freeman. I'd like to welcome you all to my channel. So most Americans are at least aware of the impact that the civil rights icon Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. had on American society. But few people are aware of the impact that Martin Luther King Jr.'s father, Martin Luther King Sr., had on the fight for civil rights. First, Martin Luther King Sr. encouraged his son to go into the ministry. Martin Luther King Sr. was actually born Michael King on December 19th, 1897 in Stockbridge, Georgia. He eventually changed his name to Martin Luther King in 1934 after traveling to Berlin for a Baptist conference and was inspired by the protest of the Protestant reformer Martin Luther. Now, as a young person in Georgia, he was not a stranger to racial violence. He actually witnessed a lynching as a young person. After being inspired by black preachers who spoke out against Jim Crow segregation and racial injustice and violence, Martin Luther King Sr. became a minister in 1917. Martin Luther King Sr. married the daughter of Reverend Adam Daniel Williams, who was then the pastor of Ebenezer Baptist Church. And after Reverend Williams' death, he eventually became the pastor of Ebenezer Baptist Church in 1931. Martin Luther King Sr. encouraged his oldest son, Martin Luther King Jr., to go into the ministry. He even wrote a letter of recommendation so that King Jr. could attend the Crozer Theological Seminary in Chester, Pennsylvania. And in 1960, Martin Luther King Jr. joined his father as co-pastor of Ebenezer Baptist Church until his eventual assassination in 1968. The second way that Martin Luther King Sr. had an impact on the civil rights movement was being a great role model for his son. Now in Dr. Martin Luther King's autobiography, he documented several instances where his father stood up against Jim Crow laws. For example, Martin Luther King Jr. saw his father stand up to a Southern police officer who referred to him, Martin Luther King Sr., as boy. Dr. King wrote that his father pointed at him and said, this is a boy. I'm a man. Until you call me one, I will not listen to you. He then wrote that the surprise police officer wrote the ticket up nervously and left the scene as quickly as possible. King Sr. also walked out of a shoe store with his son when they were both asked to sit in the back, presumably because of Jim Crow laws. Dr. King reported that his father said, I don't care how long I have to live with this system, I will never accept it. The last way that Martin Luther King Sr. impacted the civil rights movement was actively leading protest himself. From the pulpit of Ebenezer Baptist Church, Martin Luther King Sr. preached the social gospel. He applied theological teachings to the day-to-day -day problems of people, including many African Americans in his church. Over the years, Martin Luther King Sr. rose to the ranks of the NAACP, eventually becoming a member of the executive committee of the Atlanta branch. In 1939, he proposed a march to the city hall in Atlanta to kick off a voter registration effort. In an act of defiance in that same city hall, he rode a whites-only elevator to the voter registrar's office. He was also the chairman of the Committee on the Equalization of Teachers' Salaries, which was organized to protest discriminatory policies in teachers' pay. The actions of this committee resulted in significant gains in the salaries of many black teachers. Later, during the civil rights movement of the 1950s and 60s, Martin Luther King Sr. participated in civil rights marches along with his son and also preached against Jim Crow and for civil rights from the pulpit of Ebenezer Baptist Church. And after his son's murder in 1968, Martin Luther King Sr. continued to fight for civil rights and honor his son's memory up until his own death in 1984. Now, if you found that video interesting and or informative, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Also, please share this video. And if there are other unsung heroes of the civil rights movement you want me to feature on this channel, please leave those suggestions in the comment section below. Thank you all for your time and have a wonderful rest of your day.